All right, Ryan, you ready for this today? Yeah! Right. All right, so today I'm gonna get this darn trailer out of the front driveway here. I've decided, well, unless somebody wants to buy it, I've decided I need to get it back in the wash bay. So we're gonna go and clean out the area where it's gonna go. I'll have to go over to, uh, to HQ and get jack stands, jack it back up and get the tires off the ground. You know, maybe I should just get flat stoppers for it. Those things are a lot of money, but I guess my trailer costs a lot of money too. What we're gonna do is move all the cars out of the wash bay here, pull the bubble out. So actually, no, what I'm gonna do first is pull the trailer in here, then we're gonna wash the trailer, and then pull the bubble out, put the trailer in place, wash the bubble, put the bubble in front of the trailer, trailer on the hitch and then we're gonna work on backing up so we can get this thing over there and we'll wash it clean up the wheels a little bit um, we'll probably actually check the tire pressures as well so I might have to run over to HQ and get the get the stuff but we'll, we'll maybe we'll check those a little later uh, so we're gonna use our hitch and we'll probably use we'll use our park at 360 to uh, get the thing in place so should probably, while I'm hooking this up, let's, let's get the uh, park it a little bit charged. All right, so we're all hooked up. Man, I can't wait to go get the suspension done on the truck so it doesn't squat anymore. Uh, but there's nothing nothing in it, and nothing in the trailer, so it shouldn't squat much. All right, so I'm gonna hack job it back there, back it all the way up. This will take me a good 20 minutes or so. We'll see if I've gotten any better at this. But we'll get the uh, get the truck set up here. Uh, Get the, you know, or get the trailer set up on the truck, which means you just press the button. And then uh, we're gonna back it into, into place. So basically you just press the button. It finds the sticker, which is in place. And then you shift in reverse or active. And it takes over here. And then I uh, tell it what to do by shifting. Killing it here. I think I got this trailer thing back, backing up, uh, down. So helps to have this. I'm telling you, helps me anyway to have this little knob. But yeah, it just takes a little while to get used to. So I mean, I haven't even had to pull back forward yet. I'm just rolling it right down the driveway. So I think I got it. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go blow the leaves out of the wash bay here. I won't be able to back it into this section here because it's too tight, but I will be able to back it right into the right into the wash wash area so I can wash it. Man, I've been procrastinating on this for so long, for weeks and weeks. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. So you can see the even the unloaded ah spider. Get him off of me. So you can see even the unloaded truck or unloaded trailer. See the squad of the Raptor in the rear. So when I put the uh, beefier leaf springs in the back, we won't get that squat. And you'll notice, I mean, shoot, we probably only have 200 pounds on the tongue. I'm gonna blow this out. I think I might, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it here a minute, but I might, I might, uh, spray it out with the pressure washer too and we'll see how it goes but basically what i'm going to do is just foam this thing down and clean the wheels and tires foam it down foam from the outside down i'm not even going to deal with the roof and uh and just kind of you know wash it off with a couple of buckets just to kind of clean it up because eventually you know if i do keep this i'm going to wrap it uh, so i'm going to work on that at some point in the future if i if i keep this thing but you know, we'll see if I can stomach having the bubble all the way out this way again and have the have the trailer back in, in its old position. Because I was going to do, you know, pave and do another do another uh, carport out here and it's just gonna cost too much money. It wasn't worth it to me. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, wheel and tire cleaning here with uh, some Nexet Color Tech and then some Adams wheel and tire cleaner. Just clean these up real fast. All right, so wheels and tires are clean. We'll dress them with some pearl. I'm gonna check uh, check the tire pressures before we move it out. Uh, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna clean the the back 
I'll probably start here and work my way around in the back section section. I'm gonna get up and just kind of blow off the top. Actually, what I might do is just foam the top and then I'm just gonna blow it off. I'm not gonna not gonna get up there and scrub it. It's aluminum anyway, so it's kind of hard to do. So I'm gonna get the ladder out. I'll have that so I can get up on there and just kind of blow it off, foam it. I'm gonna disconnect my truck. Um, you know, my truck's kind of a mess anyway, so. Cause I want to back it up more. So I think I'll, yeah, I'm going to disconnect it from the truck, move the truck out of the way and I can always push it back. So I'm going to do that. Just to give you an idea of what we're working with here. Uh, I'm getting, uh, starting down to head down the rabbit hole here. <laughs> of, I was just going to do a quick cleaning. Something tells me this is going to end up taking me all day. Here's what the top looks like. <laughs> So Jeremy from Shine Supply made me a prototype stripping wash. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna test it out on the trailer here. We'll see if it, it probably won't. This skin stuff tends to hold on to this. So I'm probably gonna have to break out a polisher. Not really to polish it, but just to, because to, to, the clay bar won't work. I've even used uh, Power Clean on this stuff. And uh, yeah. We got some work to do. So here we go. This is a citrus prep wash. Looks gnarly. So we're gonna put some in the foam cannon. I'm gonna put it, spray the top, the top aluminum, which we're gonna see how it works on aluminum. And then uh, I'm gonna grab a broom. I'm gonna use a broom. So we use the smaller one to uh, clean the top. Cause it's not painted, so it won't matter. All right, don't try this at home, but I'm gonna take this brush. I'm gonna brush the uh, foam just to kind of agitate it a bit and then we'll rinse it. It's just bare aluminum, so it shouldn't matter. Although not ideal, it's much, much cleaner. So you can see there's not a lick of beading up here. So, uh, I don't know, maybe someday we'll roll it in and make a whole video series about correcting and protecting a trailer, but for now this is good enough. Just did a quick foaming, so we got some foam on here, and then we're going to gonna fill up a bucket. Get the buckets out and do some uh, do some cleaning. All right, so I mixed up some of the prototype bucket. Create some suds. It doesn't foam as well. Uh, at least it doesn't create you know big thick foam, but it uh, you know it does cover the surface pretty well. So let's see how it does. But I'm gonna do a normal two bucket wash. Trailer's nice and clean. Wheels are clean. I'm gonna check, uh, I'll check the tire pressures in a little bit. But notice, I think you can see this on camera. See the, yeah, you can see it. See the streaky brown. I'm trying to decide if I wanna throw a polisher on there and clean that up or if I just, I'll do it later. You know, you have all kinds of streaky dirt that runs off the roof and then sticks. So I guess, yeah, unless I'm willing to go and do you know, a full polish and protection, I'm just gonna leave it like that. See all the little, little spots. So a lot of that comes from the, you know, I used Reload and Hydro 2. So a lot of that is from the, the running off the roof onto the silica based, you know, spray sealant tends to get uh, streaky like that. The dirt tends to collect after a while after the beating stops. At least that's been my experience with it. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna uh, maybe blow it off, push it forward, check the tires, then we'll get these cars out of the way so that, you know, actually, let me just, I don't know, shoot. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll come back to you and let you know what I decide. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a wrap on this. I just blew it off. We're gonna leave the trailer as is uh, because someday soon I'll pull it into OGHQ and we'll do a full correction series on it, I guess. Correction and maybe I'll coat it and then, or wrap it, then coat it. But for now, we're gonna leave it streaky with uh, the dirt on the side and I'm gonna uh, dress the tires here, check the tire pressures, call it a day. So I got my little Ingersoll ran here in the closet, which I'll just run the power cord up to there 
and uh, go check the tire pressures and get those uh, topped off. So I'm gonna run the tires at uh, 36 PSI. Uh, their max load's 60, but I don't know, that seems a little aggressive. Uh, maybe I'm gonna run them at 40. Uh, this hose is amazing, man, the Prevost hose. I'm torn between the Airco, which is the rubber one, and then this, whatever this hybrid Snowflex version is, it's one of the little lighter weight. Uh, this is the Gen 1, the original Prevost swivel. It's not a fluid, it's not completely fluid. Uh, so this one um, isn't as nice, but uh, I've been, I have this in the wash bay just to kind of test out, but still, still a decent setup. My chalk or whatever you call this, the, the air filler thing is broken here, so I need to get a new one of these. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hook the truck back up, pull the trailer back out. So I'm gonna get my mom's Impreza out of here. We'll get the GT3 out of here, and then we'll, uh, We'll, we'll get the bubble into this spot to start cleaning it, but I'm gonna back the trailer in, I'm gonna do some, spray some bug stuff and get this all cleaned up. So we're gonna have a bunch of moving around to do. Truck and the GT3, oh man, that looks good. <laughs> the GT3 always looks good no matter where I put it. The truck's over there, with the trailer, the mom's car's behind that. So now we're gonna go out and move the bubble out. Now, this is a rather interesting video. <laughs> so I'm gonna move the bubble, move the showcase out. Stop calling it the bubble. And it really needs a good, I need to clean this thing up. It's a mess. I think, I think I'm gonna clean the interior windows with O&R, some towels. I don't know, we're, we're gonna look at it and kind of see how it goes. It's gonna be a sweat box. I'm gonna open up both sides. So I think I'll clean, I don't know if I should clean the outside first or the inside first, but. Anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna pull it out and move it into this area. So we're gonna put it in here first, so that uh, we can get you know working on cleaning up. So I'm gonna pull the lights off and all that stuff out and really clean it out. I haven't cleaned it. I think I've had it for I don't know, I've had it for about a year, maybe something close to that. So uh, it gets real buggy and nasty, uh, and it's gonna come out to here, right? So the trailer is gonna go behind it and the bubble's gonna go in front of it, uh, and that's what we're gonna do for now. But notice how there's like a funk. There's a funk brewing. <laughs> Look at the top, and we really need to clean it off. So I'm gonna disconnect it. I'm gonna blow it out first. I'm gonna disconnect it, and I'm gonna push it all the way into the, to the wash bay. And then I'm gonna debug this area, and I'm gonna pull the trailer in, I think. Cause I don't want the trailer just to be rained on and get trees all over. I just wash the thing. I he-man the bubble into place. I'm actually gonna turn the fan back on so it'll fill up. And that way I can hopefully wash the exterior really well. Then you get kind of a funk on the floor here, which will go away. I'm gonna also hit the side here. And I'm gonna go mix up a batch of, uh, of some bug bug stuff clean this out so I've gotten some of the funk off I'm gonna go get some Dawn I put a, a 25 degree 4.0 nozzle so I'm getting a solid 20 uh, solid 2,000 psi or so trying to get this thing defunked a layer of funk on it like I can't even explain part of the disadvantage of being in Florida. It's just funky. I've never put Dawn in a foam cannon before. We'll see what happens. But we're hopefully gonna at least clean this exterior up a little bit and then we'll go inside after we clean the exterior and worry about the mold that's brewing on the inside. Hopefully we can knock that out with some power clean and some O&R so I don't have to get super wet in there but maybe it'd be best to just open it up, take everything out and hose it off. I might do that too. Layer of it. I'm gonna pull the plug, let some of the air out so that the top comes down so that I can reach it. Um, let me think about that. I just wanna agitate it. Hopefully it can get some of the gunk off of this thing. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so this, this, is, so this is working out great. I'm taking the broom and just brushing it as aggressively as I can. It's, I think this is going to do the trick of getting it cleaned up. So, pretty easy to do. 
favorite dawn for everything dawn for everything cuts the grease in this case cuts the floor of the pump <laughs> right what kate right. the hose it off and we have this look at me my hose it Ask like a big girl, what do you want? All right, I'm gonna switch back to a 40 degree nozzle and a four, uh, 6 .0, so it's gonna slow the 6.0, so it can slow the uh, pressure down a bit and just DI, DI rinse this off, but the exterior came out great. We're gonna have to deal with the, uh, the mold in the interior, so I'm gonna figure that out in a minute. All right, so I just mixed up some O&R. Looks like there's a little soap left over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the inside. I'm gonna spray it, spray it down with some Power Clean, and I'm gonna come back and wipe with some microfiber towels and the, these two buckets. All right, it looks a little different, even on camera, I'm sure. We were demolded, got all the mold out. Hopefully, they got it killed with some optimum power clean and then wiped down with O&R and then wiped it down with a dry towel. Got everything fixed up. I put the lights back in. I even wiped the floor down. So, should get another couple of years or longer out of this thing. Put this down so everything can dry nicely. Wow, it's like it's like brand new. This is awesome. So that all I want to let it all completely dry out before I put the car in there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go mix up some bug stuff, spray down the wash bay. So that hopefully we can keep the keep the bugs out of here for a little while longer. Got the trailer back here, close, and uh, so now I'll push it the rest of the way in. I think I can make this turn, and then I get it back in the spot back here. So the bubble is clean, Shelly. Look how clean that looks. Clean the power cord now. Um, you know, the trailer is back in its spot. It makes me feel claustrophobic in here, but the uh, this power cord gives you a sense. I mean, look at that. Look at the funk. This is what happens when you're in Florida. Like, there's just stuff grows on everything. It's crazy. So I'm just cleaning this off. But I clean the floor. See, I clean the floor. I clean the ceiling. I clean the whole darn. But how did you clean it? With uh, Optimum No Rinse. Cause I'm cleaning windows, but I don't know if my windows look this good. Cow. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks really good. Clean the filter. What do you think, Rye? Not that good. Not that good? Come on, Rye. So. You just went in there and you. I could do better. Well, you lose. You could, Ryan could be. Ryan could better. Well, you use a lot of towels. In there for two hours. Yeah. You feel so good now? Stuff like this makes you happy? Mm, getting there. All right, Rye's in dire need of uh, bike maintenance. So let's bring your bike in, Rye. And you want to get the seat up higher and the handlebars up higher, right? We're going to have to get you a new bike. I think he's too big. I had to take a break to get uh, Rye Rye's bike all dialed in before I go mix up some bug spray. Good job, Rye. Make sure you get all the 
all the wheels and tire yeah there you go just kind of brush it around good job and then you can spray it off when you're when you're all clean all right i'm going to mix up a batch of uh barrier here you're supposed to use this straight it doesn't spray very well so i do a 50-50 uh, mix and a sprayer so we're going to go spray around the trailer and all around the wash bay to help us out here don't work too hard bro supposed to be killing stuff oh yeah it can be uh, 32 ounces per gallon right, now that we got the uh, bikes rides bike all clean seat raised handlebars raised we're gonna jump on our bikes and go test them out for a little run in the, in the neighborhood I'm gonna take my giant for a spin with rise giant ready rye yeah. let's do it we're back to claustrophobic for now the truck is here and again, my parents are going to be living here until their house is done so got the truck here the trailer under here man the showcase looks amazing it looks even better than new because all the wrinkles are out and then even new there's some you know some haziness to the windows it's just compressing right now or pressurizing right now but man this looks great the car looks cool so there's the setup. Man, that was a lot of work. But I got a clean trailer. My GT3 is clean. My showcase is now clean. Of course, it'll get misted a little bit when I'm washing, you know, cars in the wash bay, but it's still, you know, it'll be fine. And then we have enough room with the overhang here that unless rain is really crazy, it won't get hit. And so then I'm just gonna park my mom's car here. I'll back the truck in for the time being. And uh, we're back to five cars because I'll have my dad's car, my, my mom's car, the truck, and Michelle's truck. And so I'm going to pull that car over here. And then we can always park two cars in the, in the breezeway as well. It's just, you know, it's annoying because then it's tighter out there. So depending on how much my mom is driving around, of whether we keep both of their cars here, maybe I'll keep the GT3 at, the, uh, at HQ and my dad can just pull into the bubble. So... Anyway, we sprayed for hopefully the barrier will take care of the rodents. It seems to seems to be working. You know, I haven't noticed any any mice or anything scratching around in here at all. So I think uh, I think that stuff really works. I spray it like once every well, I plan to spray it once every three months, but I ended up being once every six or seven months. But look how cool that looks. So not a bad temporary turning into multi-year solution. <laughs> So that's the story, uh, long day, lots of work. I feel good though, I feel accomplished. I feel like I got something done and I made a video while I was at it. I don't know how interesting the video was, but uh, anyway, something something for you to bring you along with my in my life and story of obsessed. Next thing will be, you know, getting the trailer completely dialed in. So that's on the agenda as well. But for now we can sit under here and keeping the trailer for the time being. So I think we're, uh, I think we're, gonna chalk it up for a project done for today anyway thanks for watching as always stay tuned for more crazy so what happens when the when the force pulls you back your foot naturally comes off the gas you have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor. Foot to the floor.